1997, uh, Tom Alessandri suggested that uh, a totally unqualified uh, applicant uh, apply for a teaching job here, uh, teaching English, and naively I thought, well, there's no way they're going to hire me. Uh, but they did, and uh, <laughs> shortly thereafter I began teaching English. Uh, and uh, I remember vividly uh, the summer before, I think I was teaching the summer acting workshop, and uh, a guy came up to me, Mark McCora, uh, who's here tonight, and was very welcoming, uh, which was a big, a big relief. Somebody knows Mark. <laughs> Which was a big relief to me. Uh, he's very energetic, and he sort of filled me in about what had been going on with Sang and Hebrews. Uh, and uh, per, to me personally, uh, that first group, 97-98, uh, is a, a especially special place in my heart. Uh, and of course, uh, it wouldn't do to mention that group without mentioning our friend Kevin Anderson, uh, who uh, left us much too soon, uh, a year after he graduated. Um, but those, uh, those years, um, had so many talented people, uh, many of whom have gone on to careers in uh, showbiz. Uh, a lot of them have worked in special effects, uh, in TV production, uh, of course in uh, improv and theater, in music. Uh, we have in this group a uh, recent rock band champion, <laughs> an official rock band champion, Derek Moore. Uh, we have Wajah Hadawi, who's here tonight. He, uh, he wrote uh, the acclaimed play, The Domestic Crusaders, which is being published by McSweeney's. <laughs> These years also saw Sunfish Bala, who we knew as Sunfish Bala Subramaniam, uh, who uh, is you know, working in film and TV. He uh, memorably appeared on Grey's Anatomy as a fellow with priapism. <laughs> uh, and many more people than I can name right now, that's just a sampling. And we're going to see a bunch of those folks right now, a very talented group uh, who we all love a lot. So let's start with a game of uh, advertising. Woo. So come on down. 